There was once an old woman who was mean to the core. She was just about as mean as the worst. She was so mean that when people weren't looking, she would kick a puppy. And if people were looking, she'd kick too. And that woman, she had a daughter that was about as mean as she was. The rotten apple hadn't fallen far from the tree. They would do mean things to people all day long and then go home and laugh about it. They would eat sugar cakes and stuff their faces with molasses cookies and laugh. <laughs> and there was also a man who was just the opposite. He had a heart that seemed to be made out of pure gold. He would do anything for anyone. Why, he would work an extra day if it meant he could have the money to pay for food for a neighbor if they didn't have anything. And he also had a daughter who was just like him. Her heart shone like gold in the sun. Well, that old woman and that old man, they happened to meet each other. And as sometimes happens, they fell in love. No one could believe it, but they did. And they got married, and they moved together. And because of this new living arrangement, the dad had to go out for new work. He took a job that required him to go far away for many days at a time. And when he left, that stepmother, that wicked stepmother, was in charge of her daughter and then his very good girl. And as soon as the door would close and he would go away for work, she would turn around. And her true colors would shine. She would make her stepdaughter go out into the fields and do all the work by saying, little girl, go out into the fields and do all the work. But that little girl had a heart of gold and she would look at her stepmother, who she called Granny, and say, yes, Granny. She'd go out into the field and tend to the crops and work all day long while her wicked stepmother and her stepsister would laugh and sit on the couch and eat sugary goodies all day. Then at the end of the day, when she would come back in, she would say, Granny, is there anything else I need to do? And her wicked stepmother would make her go and clean the bathroom and all the sinks by saying, yes, go clean the bathroom and all of the sinks. And she would say, yes, Granny. She'd go and do it. Well, no matter how good that little girl was, her stepmother grew with a deep hatred for her until one day she came up with a plan to get rid of her stepdaughter. As soon as she had sent her out into the fields to do the work, she turned to her own daughter, who was saying, Is it time to eat sugar cakes, mother? She said, No, I want you to go up to your room. I want you to lie in bed and pull the cover up to your chin. And when I bring your sister up there tonight, don't speak to her. Don't look at her. Do you hear? She said, Yes, mother. And she went on upstairs to prepare for that. At the end of the day, when her stepdaughter came in and said, Granny, is there any more work to do? She was acting like she was on the stage at a fine theater. Oh, the worst thing has happened today while you were out in the field. Oh, and she looked up at her stepmother and said, well, what's the matter, Granny? Oh, my poor little girl has become so sick. She's so sick she can't even talk. Here, I'll show you. And she grabbed her by the wrist, took her up that rickety set of stairs till they got to her sister's room. They went in and she saw there was her sister lying in bed with the covers right up to her chin. She walked up and said, is it true? You can't even talk? And her sister was just looking straight forward up at the ceiling, didn't say one word. Oh, it's so terrible. My little girl is so sick. She'll never get well again. Oh, oh. And her stepdaughter said, is there nothing that we can do? And she said, no, there's nothing at all we can do, except I heard tell that at the very end of the world, there is a stone well that has water in it that's a magical water, and that if anyone takes a drink of that water, they'll be cured of any illness that they have. Oh, but we don't have anyone to go and get that water for us. Well, I'll go, Granny. You will? <laughs> sure, if it means that I'll save my sister. <laughs> Great, you'll leave tomorrow. The next morning, that little girl got up and she fixed a fine breakfast for her family like she always did. 
For herself, she made a cake of cornbread that she wrapped in a fine napkin. She got a bottle of water with a cork on the top. And just before she turned to leave, her stepmother said, wait. And she pulled out of the cupboard a glass pitcher with a screw-type lid. Take this with you. When you get to the well at the end of the world, fill it with water. Screw the lid tight and bring it home for your sister. But don't return until you've done this task. Yes, Granny. She gathered her things and she turned to leave. And that old woman watched as that girl walked out of her sight, as she thought, never to be seen again. <laughs>